Hi, this is Lisa Devan here from Entechem. I'm meeting with Michelle Motherway in Yellowford Farm outside Yall, and we're chatting about her experience with precision microbes uh, at Coin. Um, Michelle, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, the first question I want to ask you is, uh, how? Tell me about your farm. Okay. Um. So we're predominantly a dairy farm. Um. But also we have um. We're a breeding. We have a, far, a stud farm. So we have like twenty five mares. Um. My husband Paul and his his family and um, Frank and Liz. Um, they can sign on the yellow fruit, so they would sell a lot of national hunt foals. And then I'm more of the pin hook and site. Um, so I have TDM. Um, so I buy flat foals and sell them as yearlings myself, Paul. And also we have a few um, flat mares and we breed. So hopefully as time goes on, we'll be more breeding to sell than pin hooking, but also we'll try and keep an eye on and hook on as well. Absolutely, brilliant. And um, you've started using precision microbes this year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where did you hear about it? Um, well, I met you at the, I was on a day out the the RDS, um, one of the rare days we get out. <laughs> and um, I had heard about precision microbes from a lot of people, but I just never, you know, bit the bullet and tried it. Mm. And I had a prime candidate to use it, um, a horse that was after having surgery, just, you know, obviously surgery is very demanding on their body. Mm. And, you know, he just went back a little bit and he, he, will, he will be going to the sales in November. So mm. I wanted to give him every opportunity to be his best and thrive. And I have to say, Lisa, within like, the week I know I texted you and I said, oh my God, I can see a difference already yeah. in him. Like he was a very lean, kind of narrow horse and I could see him widening of his chest. And this horse was on box rest. Yes. And he looked amazing. His coat, everything changed. Like, you know, he, even his temperament, like f for a horse standing in, like yeah. it's a lot to ask for. And, you know, you could give him a few steps out in the barn just to make sure everything was okay and his temperament, like he really chilled out on it. Yeah. I highly recommend it, it's very good. You were saying to me earlier, he was licking the bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like every time you go in to feed him, you dump the feed in the bucket or in the in the pot, he'd have to have a lick of the bucket. And yeah, it's really good. Like you'd nearly, you'd have a bit of it yourself. <laughs> You're not the first person to say that to me. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you had a good week last week? Yeah, I actually, so, the precision microbes was really for the horse that was recovering after surgery. But you know what? I had it there and I was like, I'm going to give it to the, my two other sales horses. <laughs> so two yearlings that went to the RB, um, book one, um, I put them on it. So after the RDS, so obviously the end of kind of August, was it middle of August? Yeah. And they went then the end, they were sold the end of September. And yeah, I they turned inside out. Like so many people commented on their coats that they looked amazing. And like, I'm not one now that was going to brush for hours or anything like that. Yeah. But oh, really, really. And I think they even, they got stronger on it. And yeah. um, you know, as the prep went on, obviously you're doing a lot of conditioning work with your, your horses that are in prep. But no, I, I, I found it really good for them too. Brilliant. Really, really good. Brilliant. Um, and uh, where did they end up going to? Um, okay, so we had a Star Spangled Banner called that we bought. There were two pin hooks that we bought for 90,000 um, in November last year. Mm -hmm. And we sold for 300,000 to the Hong Kong Jack Club. Fantastic. So Nick Canal. And then um, the second horse was a Sea the Moon horse, 20 grand. And he made fifty eight, and he's gone to Hamish McCauley. Brilliant. So yeah, we were delighted with her too. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. And hopefully now, um, the new bay that will go to December. He's a homebred. Yeah. He'll um do well as well. Brilliant. And you have a couple more going towards the end of the year foals as well. Yeah, yeah, a lot of foals to go. Um, so I think uh, I was just I was just looking at the numbers, in Fairy House. I think there's thirty odd national hunt foals. Okay. And then there will obviously be a few for goths, and then the flat foals then are sold under Yellowford and Drumlin. Drumlin is Paul's um sister and brother in law, Deirdre and Connor yep. Cashman, 
Um, so there's like eight or nine foals going to Newmarket Fat Foals. So um, yeah, there's one really exciting one, a uh, Frankel foal. Yeah. And I think it'll be the first ever Frankel foal to come out of East Cork, Fantastic. which is brilliant. So um, he's actually, after starting the Precision Micros, really? um, he's just started his prep and um, yeah, loving it. Licking the pot again, well, which is great because sometimes foals can be a little bit tricky, yeah. you know, when they come in and they go on hard feet. But no, lick in the pot. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm sure the Frankels have been going very well this week. Oh my God, it's yeah. I know, so. I know as the week has been going yeah. on, they're selling more and more. Absolutely. Or well, higher. Fingers crossed for you guys anyway mm -hmm. as we look towards the back end of the yeah. year and uh, yeah. you're happy to keep going with the product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, we were just saying over a cup of tea, the foals that I buy are, you know, we winter them in sheds, like kind of running yeah. sheds. Um, so they, they have the option to be out in the yard and obviously covered. Um, so they'll all be on it in their feet because they get fed every day. So um, they will definitely be on it. Because I find sometimes, you know, when you buy foals and they come home, yeah. they really do go backwards because it's such a big ask for Stress. foals. Yeah. And especially like, busy foals, like they could get a hundred shows yeah. or more, which is a lot to ask for a young yeah. foal. So I definitely think to mind them once they come home and make sure what you put in is what you get out. I'm a strong believer of that. So if you're giving everything you you need nutritionally and and to help their, their gut function, you're going to get out something and hopefully it converts some cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. Thanks so yeah. much for having me, Sophie Thank Jane. You. You're and, welcome. Um, yeah, if anyone has any questions on precision, uh, feel free to give us a a shout on Interchem Equine Instagram page and uh, we can answer any questions for you. Thanks so much, Michelle. Thank you.